All right, today we are headed to the Roselius Mountain Range out near Big Ben. We're gonna do some quail hunting. Um, we only got one day to hunt, so hopefully we do good. We're gonna be hunting blue quail. I don't really know much about blue quail. We're gonna be hunting in West Texas. I really don't know much about West Texas either. But here's a couple things I learned about hunting blue quail in West Texas. First thing about hunting blue quail in West Texas is West Texas sits about 2,000 feet higher in elevation than my hill country home. That means the oxygen's a little bit slimmer there. You gotta account for that. The second thing you need to know about hunting blue quail in West Texas is don't let those little two inch legs fool you. They cover some ground and they move fast. I'm talking we chase these things for miles at a time. You gotta be fast. It's almost like a, like a jog is how fast you gotta go. Like, ow, damn. God damn, we covered some ground. As far as calorie goes, it's probably not that most efficient. No. The third thing you need to know about hunting blue quail in West Texas is they like draws. They like draws because they can fly over draws while you have to climb down one side of the draw, walk across it, and climb up the other side of the draw. And they can get away. I'm hoping to watch that pop. That was fucking, do you see it? Nah. -uh. This fucking dive bomb hit the ground and that quail got away. It's flying right down this. Hawk was on his tail and how he smoked the quail. <laughs> what the fuck? Hawk <laughs> probably didn't know what the fuck was going on. That's probably one of the coolest things you're ever going to see. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna shoot a whole cut for like, you know, five of them at once. Yeah. The fourth thing you need to know about hunting blue quail in West Texas is once you shoot them, they're kind of hard to find. There's a lot of rocks and stuff out there, they look pretty similar to the rocks. No, I never saw it. I just saw one running around right there. I wish I would have saw all of them running around right there. Yeah, I and I saw one and it, like right behind that rock right there. Then they all flew up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's time for a fucking beer. I've been drinking already. You fucker. I started at 10. <laughs> That's the new drinking. Huh? That's the new drinking time in Texas. They that changed the law. <laughs> yeah. Two. 
Getting close. The fifth thing you gotta know about blue quail hunting in West Texas is you gotta take out the lead cock. There's gonna be one quail that's standing on a rock or next to a bush or something, and he's chirping at all the other quail, telling them where to go. If you can take that quail out, it's game on. Easy hunting from there in. No, that one was fresh. There's one up on that rock to the left. That was the lookout. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I was not ready. Say we walk back and try to get on one more. Let's try to get on a couple more. Yeah. So overall we had one day to hunt. And that day we got 40 quail between the three of us, which is pretty good. As we were cleaning them, Hallie established that quail smell like doo-doo, which they kind of do. They taste great though. And it was a pretty good trip overall.